Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you very much for tuning in to today's video which is shop my wardrobe slash recreating some outfits that I have saved on some of my Pinterest boards. Now there are a lot of videos like this out there on YouTube and I for one think they are great because they do encourage us to re-wear what we already own. And you guys know I am a big fan of creating a Pinterest board and collating all of that inspiration. So in today's video, I have selected five outfits from some of my Pinterest boards, of course with the summer theme. And actually there is an accidental second theme and that is shirts. So today's video is the summer shirts edition of shop my wardrobe slash recreating Pinterest outfits. Right, let's start off with outfit number one, which we're going to put on screen for you here so that you can see it more clearly. Now, outfit number one is actually saved from a brand website, and it's a brand that I mentioned in last week's summer dresses video. It's the Australian brand Dish, and I wanna highlight that it's saved from a brand website because it doesn't always have to be influencers or celebrities or like, people, people that you get your inspiration from. It can literally be anything. So it can be brand websites, it could be nature, it can be art, whether it be like a certain color combination or a texture combination, fabric combination, whatever it may be. I personally feel like inspiration can be taken from anywhere. So now I'm going to recreate this outfit with what I already have in my wardrobe. Starting off with the base of the outfit, which is a basic white vest. Now you guys know how much I love my basics. I've got a few different styles, but for this outfit, I went with the classic racerback. Now for the trousers. Mine are quite similar to the inspo image with them being tailored and linen. These are actually old from H&M Premium, but they are perfect for summer. They're lightweight, they're breathable, and the bonus is that they have an elasticated section at the back of the waistband for added comfort. Now, as you saw in the inspo image, the model is wearing a loose blue shirt layered over the top of her base layer. So I've had a look in my wardrobe and I've gone for this light cotton chambray shirt, which I've had for about two or three years now. And I'm gonna roll up the sleeves to achieve a similar kind of look. Now, I said at the start of this video that an accidental theme of shirts has emerged here, and that's because I love shirts for summer. In particular, layering them over vests because they help keep me cool, and they also protect my skin from the sun. So I do naturally tend to gravitate towards outfits like this. Now, for the shoes, I've opted for my Dear Francis Kin sandals. The model is actually wearing heels, but for me personally, I want a more comfortable and practical footwear option for a more day-to-day -day summer look. And actually, these sandals in particular, I always find elevate a more casual look because they're not like as super basic as a standard rubber flip-flop. And again, for a more practical and wearable bag option for a day-to-day -day summer look, I've gone for my Dragon Diffusion Nantucket tote bag, which is black, so it ties in, just like the inspo outfit, with the footwear, and it keeps the look to that three-color rule that I love so much. So let's bring up that inspo outfit again to see how I did. Now, I think I nailed this one, if I do say so myself. And although I've almost matched this look identically, it is worth mentioning that you don't actually have to recreate a look down to an absolute T. It could just be the color combination that you love, or as I mentioned earlier, it could be textures. It's just about utilizing what you already have. Now, as a little additional option, I have also styled the look with some heels and a slightly dressier bag which would give me a look more like the vibe of the inspo image and would be a little bit more appropriate for a setting where perhaps I wanted to feel less casual, but still comfortable in the summer heat. Right, moving on to inspiration picture number two. And this is a lovely headless woman. 
I have to apologize because I don't actually know the original source of where this image is from. If I somehow happen to come across that in the interim between filming this and putting this video live, I will of course put the original source down in the description box below. If anyone knows the original source, please do leave it in the comments below so that we can add it to the description box. Now, again, the theme, shirts, and we have very much got a similar kind of vibe, a slightly different colorway, because you guys know I love my blacks and my neutrals. So, starting off with the same basic white vest as in the previous outfit, which I really hope demonstrates the value of having basics like this in your wardrobe, because for me, they are my most worn staples by far. Now for the trousers, I've gone for a similar tailored and masculine style, but mine are actually wool. So I would probably swap them for a lighter option, perhaps something like linen on a really hot day. As with the previous outfit, this look again incorporates the loose shirt layered over the top of a basic vest, which I cannot get enough of, but to mix things up, and I mean that in the loosest sense, I'm leaving the sleeves unrolled and the cuffs unbuttoned and like the inspo image, I'm gonna button up just one of the central buttons and slightly off shoulder the shirt. It's a very slouchy kind of vibe, but it's a really simple little styling trick to achieve a slightly different look from just leaving the shirt unbuttoned. Now, because this is just a mid shot, I can't actually see the footwear in the inspo image, but that's okay. As I've said, you don't have to completely replicate an outfit like for like. So I've gone with my dear Francis Kin sandals again, because I wanted a basic sandal in black to keep the look to three colors. For the bag, I've opted for this oversized textured shoulder bag from Kos. You can see a little hint of a cream strap in the inspo outfit. So for the sake of this video, I wanted to stick to that as much as possible, but also the mix of these neutral tones is just delicious. Okay, so looking again at the inspo outfit for reference, and I think I've done quite well here. Again, another pat on the back for me. It's very similar to outfits I wear on a regular basis, and that's always how I go about selecting which images I save as my inspiration. I'm drawn to a very certain kind of aesthetic, and it just makes it really easy to style these kind of outfits. Right, inspiration outfit number three is Kendall Jenner, actually. Right, okay, probably sounding like a broken record now, but I think you all know what we're gonna start off with. Yep, it's that basic white vest again, and I'm also going to be layering a shirt over the top so you can see where this shirt theme really came about, can't you? However, before adding the shirt, I'm in need of trousers, obviously. So I've gone for a pair of beige cotton chinos, which aren't as tailored and masculine as Kendall's wide leg option, which are from the row, but this is what I have to work with within my wardrobe. Now for the shirt, it's an oversized white cotton shirt from Arquette that I've had for a few years now. And I'm actually gonna roll up the sleeves because that's a look that I personally like. The accessories are contrasting in black. So I'm adding a black leather belt to break up the neutrals of the rest of the outfit. But to be honest, if this was just a day to day kind of hot summer's day, I'd probably lose the belt just in favor of comfort. And again, I wouldn't really wear a pair of heels for a day-to-day -day look, even if they were as low as Kendall's. So instead, I've gone for my well-loved and very well-worn ATP Atelier Rosa Slides in black, which once more keep this look within that three color rule. And the same applies for the bag, which is also in black, but the woven leather style keeps it very summer appropriate. Right, let's bring Kendall back in again. There she is, hello. Now we can't all be dressed head to toe in the row, as awesome as that would be, but we can achieve a similar look with what we already own. And this for me is a look which is a great day-to-day -day summer outfit. And I knew as soon as I saw that photo of Kendall that I had all the pieces to recreate it. But once again, for argument's sake, even though I wouldn't wear heels regularly, in fact, it's actually quite rare that I would wear heels these days, but here is the look with a pair of black strappy sandals. I think it looks great, but for me, it just wouldn't be practical for a day-to-day -day outfit. Right, inspiration image number four. 
There we go, there she is. She's one of my faves. This is Anouk Eve. She is, or has been, a long time favorite of mine. I feel like we have similar sort of styles, which is why I enjoy following her. She has incredible style. Um, and I just always love every single one of her outfits. So I feel like she's an excellent source of inspiration. If you don't already follow her, her name will be on screen now. And of course, down in the description box below. So this outfit, as soon as I saw this outfit, I knew immediately that I could recreate it because I had everything in my wardrobe. So that's why I thought it was a good one to feature in today's video. So what are we gonna start off with? You know. <laughs> No, I know that I said shirts was like a running theme, but I also think we need to give a massive shout out to the basic white vest because this is getting a lot of airtime today. A lot of airtime. So yes, we're doing the shirt over a basic vest scenario again, but I think it's always good to kind of show lots of different variations of how you can style one particular style, if you will, because as you can see, each one of these outfits is different, but it's the same, you know? So I'll give you three guesses what we're starting off with. <laughs> Honestly, this vest was probably the best eight pounds I have ever spent. And it's going on two, maybe even three years old now. Now, in terms of the skirt, I feel like a nukes is more of a satin slip skirt kind of style, which I do have, but instead I am opting for this satin skirt, which isn't as fitted. It has an elasticated drawstring waist, which I feel more comfortable in during hot weather. So I'm wearing that over the top of the basic vest. Then once again, layering a shirt over the top as a cover up, leaving it loose and slouchy. But I am gonna roll up the sleeves quite roughly, making sure that they're not too perfect or too neatly done. And as a nuke is done, I'm gonna pull the shirt slightly off one shoulder. Not only does this keep the look really kind of casual and slouchy, but it also shows off my tan. For footwear, I did have a lot of black options to choose from, but I wanted to keep it really basic and really comfortable and laid back with these flip flops. And I've changed the bag from a basket bag to my black woven dragon diffusion tote just to keep the look to those three colors. However, to warm up the color scheme slightly, because it is quite cool, a basket bag could be introduced and swapped in. And because my low heavy basket bag has this deep tan leather trim and feature to it, I'd also be slightly tempted to change the footwear to something like my tan Hermes Oran slides, just for additional warmth. However, it does also work with the black flip flops. And bringing back the inspo image again, Anouk, there she is. And I think this is a great look for summer. Not only is it practical and it's comfortable, but I also think it's a really amazing example of how to look effortlessly chic in hot weather. And now moving on to my fifth and final inspiration image, which is just by the looks of it, a little Instagram story. I haven't actually saved this from Instagram myself, but I think I recognize who it is. I just don't know which one of the sisters it is. So it's either Cecily or Amelie Moosgaard. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. I'm so sorry if I haven't. Um, I will leave both of their handles below because they're both beautiful, lovely um, young women to follow on Instagram. Very inspirational in terms of style and things. They've got really excellent style. Um, so this is a really basic outfit. Again, we're doing the shirt, but we've got no vest this time. Gone a bit rogue, ditched the vest. And instead, just starting off with a black linen shirt, which for me is an absolute summer staple. This one in particular is quite loose because I upsized and it's very lightweight and also has this mother of pearl button detail, which I love for something a little bit different. Onto the shorts and these are from Thinking MU, which is a brand that I've spoken about before. I bought them last year and they are a slightly longer length, which is what I liked about the inspo image and why I chose to save that. And as you can see, they do also feature an elasticated section at the back on the waistband, which is a great design feature that I often look for, for comfort and for fit. 
So in this look, I'm keeping the shirt tucked into the waistband, which creates a little bit more shape around the waist. For footwear, I do actually have the same sandals, so I'm having a bit of a twinning moment. In fact, perhaps I could be the slightly older triplet because the Moose Guard sisters are in fact twins. And in terms of the bag, I'm once again reaching for this Dragon Diffusion tote because as I've already mentioned, it's a great day-to-day -day summer bag. Now for one last look at that inspo image again and what I've managed to create off of that. It's really basic, just with two colors, if you can even call them colors, to be honest. But there is an option there to add in a third, perhaps something like a tan, maybe mixing in the bag and the shoes. Having said that, to be honest, I like it just as it is. And what's even better is that I already owned everything in that outfit. Right. There we go, five outfits recreated from within my own wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more of these, perhaps a couple of them per season I could do, then let me know down in the comment section below. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your weekend and thank you as always for watching. I'll see you next time.